Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Creighton Art. Today we're going to make this banner and I made it for my camper, but you can make it for anything. And I always see these and I never buy them because they're made out of paper or they're made out of material and I don't want them to get wet and get mildewy or anything like that. So I thought of if I could make these out of some random tablecloths. I have been collecting the tablecloths for a while, but you don't have to use so many different colors. You could just buy a few and then do like a, maybe themes or something. But anyways, I found all these different tablecloths. And I just cut off a little piece of each one and I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need. So you're gonna need some sewing thread and that ribbon there was like a plastic ribbon that I picked up from this grocery store for 99 cents. And it's just a polyester uh, border trim. So I cut out a triangle here and I measured it out as 13 inches by nine and three quarters of an inch. But you can make these however big you want. And then I'm just gonna pin them together so when I go to cut them that um, they don't come apart and they stay together. So I just go ahead and pinned all three of these down and drew around with my Sharpie. You're not gonna see the marker anyways. Now if you wanted to save, save a step, you could fold them, um, tablecloth inside out so then you wouldn't have to take them apart and repin them but I kind of want to make sure that mine line up good so I'm going to go ahead and do it like this and you'll see here too that I take the triangle and I put them together so I don't have to cut so many times I'll show you that here in just a minute but so then after you cut your triangles you're going to fold them inside out and then pin them again and they're going to take them to your sewing machine and you're just going to sew along three there's there's where i did them together so you don't have to cut as many so then you're going to take your piece here and i did maybe like a five inch uh five inch um seam allowance and i just did the triangle part not the top because you're going to use that to turn it inside out so go ahead and sew all those and i just saw them in a big long train so i don't have to keep cutting my thread and then i'm just going to cut it here and um in a pile and then i'm going to trim it at the corner so when you turn it inside out it's easier you won't have as much bulky material right there and then I just took a wooden dowel and I stuck it in my pencil sharpener and I sharpened one end but then dulled the edge off a little because you don't want to poke a hole through the bottom and what you're going to do is try to turn it inside out as much as you can by your hand and then you're going to take that dowel rod and you really want to stick it in with the flat side not the pokey side first and get as much of that push through first and then use the pokey side to finish off it. You don't have to get it really pointy, just get it as much as you can. Once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty easy. Some of some, uh, the uh, tablecloths are a little bit easier than the other. Now this is the thicker tablecloth that has the fat felt back to it. You wanna make sure you get that kind, not just the um, plain kind. I don't think it would sew very well. So that's why I chose the fabric back. So then what you're going to do next is you're going to take that and you're going to cut off the little corners here. I'll show you. So you want to cut off those little tabs sticking out because you want to fit this up inside that ribbon. Now you don't have to use that ribbon. You could use um, roping and fold it around the rope and sew it. Or um, that's probably what I would do. But if you can find that plastic ribbon, it works really, really awesome. So I happen to have the black and it goes along with my trailer theme. So I just went ahead and went with the black here. And then you're just going to put them in, spacing them about however much far apart you want to space them. And then you're just going to sew along the, the seam and just sew it shut. So there's my bag. I just went ahead and grabbed some more of that um, tablecloth and I turned it into a bag. So here I am. I'll show you guys these clips from Camping World and my bag of my um banner here and you can see i'm going to start to hang it up with those little clips so you just take the little clip and it slides right over the little end and i left my my awning low so i could reach it and then i'll just use a little ladder to do the corners and then i'll raise it up after i put it on so just space it out however many you want to do if you want to make it um not as droopy i guess but i like it like that i think it's fun but if you didn't you'd have to get more clips the clips i have is like a 10 pack and this is actually 30 feet just about 30 feet of um banner that i used
So I went and got my stool here. I'm just going to keep putting these up. And I got it off, so I'm just going to slide them over and just readjust it a little bit. This is the first time I've hung it up. And I think it's so cute, you guys. I'm not 100% sold on these clips. So I'm getting ready to go to a travel park. So I will let you know in the comments if I like those clips or not. They just don't seem like they like clamp down as good as I thought they would. So we'll have to see. Well, thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.